Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing those who are permanent residents here in the Kingdom of Thailand, presumably trapped abroad as a result of the COVID-19 shutdown of airlines and flights. And we are discussing this in the context of the reopening here in Thailand, or the presumable one, as we've just recently had kind of a hiccup where they have locked flights back down, at least presumably temporarily. But we're talking about the protocols for being able to come back. We're going to go ahead and throw this up on the screen here. And we found this via the Padia News, but it is actually issued from Thai Ministry of Foreign Affairs, but credit where credit is due because we found it through the Padia News. Um, this is titled, Measures to Enter Thailand for non-Thai nationals who have certificate of residence or have been permitted to take up residency in Thailand. So, and we're just gonna kind of go through the overall kind of protocol here. Apply for appropriate visa type if necessary. Well, permanent residents presumably are gonna have their own visa. Request certificate of entry, uh, which requires declaration of travel details, proof of residence, health insurance, proof of alternative state quarantine. You gotta, you gotta prove up that you're going to be quarantined, etc. But for those who are residents in Thailand, proof of residence are gonna be things like your Tebi and Bon, your Red Book, presumably your immigrant visa itself is going to be sufficient proof of that. But embassies are gonna dictate that, and this is one of those embassies on the ground are gonna dictate that. This is one of those areas where detail on that may be a little bit scarce in a general sense. The, and then we've got sort of, it's like a diagram of how this is gonna work. And basically, you know, somebody goes ahead and goes to a Royal Thai Embassy, processes through their paperwork. The certificate of entry has to be reverted to between Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the embassy itself then given back to the applicant, and then at that point, that person, along with a bunch of other documentation, including fit-to-fly documentation, medical documentation, they're going to be able to go ahead and travel back here to Thailand. It has also been noted that there was basically a pretty prolonged ex extension on those who, if trapped abroad, might have otherwise lost their permanent residence, as those with PR in Thailand, if they do not return to Thailand within a 365-day period, they can actually lose their residence status. So Thai immigration provided sort of a prolonged amnesty. I believe it's a full year for folks to be able to get back in. That stated, probably a good idea to get back into Thailand sooner rather than later in order to retake your lawful permanent re residence status here in the kingdom as failure to do so could, could cause you to lose long-term, uh, really quite a major benefit. Lawful permanent residence in Thailand is rather difficult to obtain, or I should say perhaps it's, it's a long process to obtain, and losing that over something, over something outside of one's control, well, losing that over frivolity or failing to get back in time just to me seems a little bit less than optimal. So it's a good idea to go ahead and get oneself back into Thailand as soon as you can if you're trapped abroad and you have residence here in the kingdom. 